Hi, it's Mark from the Antique Wireless Museum, call sign AE2EA. In this segment, we're going to take a little closer look at what I'm going to need to do to move this AM broadcast transmitter from the medium frequency AM band up to the 160 meter amateur radio band. So let's get started. In looking at the schematic of this transmitter, it looks like the entire RF section is at the top of the schematic. And I'll need to uh, start with the oscillator circuit. There seems to be a tapped plate choke on the uh, RF circuit, in the oscillator circuit. And I will want to uh, keep this adjusted into resonance. The oscillator is on the front of the transmitter. And uh, it's inside that metal box. So I'll need to uh, disconnect the uh, lead and pull out the tube in order to take off the cover on that box. The buffer section looks like there are actually no uh, adjustable tune components in the buffer section. So I can skip right over that. In the power amplifier section, it looks like uh, all of the components on the back panel are right up near the top. First thing I'll need to do is there's a uh, grid choke that uh, looks like it can be adjusted into resonance. And it looks like that's right down here at the bottom of the uh, picture. Lots of taps on that. I'll probably only need to move up one tap. Uh, you adjust these by actually shorting out uh, coils that aren't needed. And it looks like I have three more taps available on that. The PA tuning section has uh, an adjustable cap. Two uh, fixed capacitors, it looks like, can be switched in there as needed, and a tapped choke. And the capacitors are on the back of the panel. It looks like they're actually not connected now. I see the one that is uh, strapped into the variable capacitor has uh, the other connection on it open, and then the other cap is just uh, bypassed entirely. So it looks like there'll be no adjustment on that. On the uh, tapped coil, it looks like I have a lot of taps to work with there. So I shouldn't have any problem getting that adjusted. And then on the output circuit, it looks like that can be, uh, it's a T network, but it looks like it could also be an L network. And the capacitors in that uh, looks like currently they're all being used in a series parallel configuration. A lot of adjustment there to get the value you want. I'll have to work out the numbers on that. In fact, I think I saw a section in the manual that tells you what capacitors to strap into what combinations in order to uh, get the capacitance you want. And then, uh, once again, tapped inductor. That looks like, uh, actually it looks like most of the turns are shorted out as they are on that one, although the tuning of those will be dependent on my antenna in the final setup. So now that I know what I need to do in order to get this transmitter into the 160 meter band, it's time to make some adjustments, take a few measurements, see how it works. Stay tuned. 